Now, as promised, I'm going to reveal my Zen million dollar farm. <laughs> That's what you clicked on the video for, right? Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow, crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Good Lord. We're getting closer to that island money day by day. So in today's video, I am going to talk about my Zen portfolio, my Zen mining, and actually I've kind of switched my thought process on this. And it's like, I feel like a miner, like I'm mining these coins. And you know, once you really get into it and start doing your ladders, you're gonna, you're gonna feel the same way. So let's first talk about Zen and Shablami. $885,000 in dashboard money, okay? Now, I promised you a million dollar farm and, and I'll get there. So uh, Zen on ETH is just absolutely crushing it. Uh, so let's talk about ETH first. So it's mooning pretty hard. Now, the problem, ETH gas is still just pounding everybody. So if we go to the one day, we were hoping for the last two weekends we were going to get that dip, and it just it just hasn't really happened that much. Like I said, like if you can squeeze a mint in around seventeen point one, it might go through this weekend. So what does that mean for a mint? You're, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be like seven hundred to a thousand dollars roughly which takes me over to if you're just getting started in zen and you're trying to get a zenturion troll the nfts okay troll the nfts because i mean this is about eleven hundred dollars but i think i calculated right earlier today it was going to be like 0.5 ETH. but if you if you put it down at like 17 1 17 5 you might be in that $700 range, okay? So don't give up. And most definitely on BSC, I've noticed, you know, we had those early days where you could squeeze in those mints at 1.1, 1.2, and it's, they hang now. It's really hard to get them through. So if you're trying to accumulate a lot on BSC, Honestly, it's just easier to come over here and sweep. You know, I use the sweep function when I was building up my bags, and you can just sweep how many ever you want, right? Because this is still cheap. Because I've put ones out there, even two GUI, two. So one is going to be thirty dollars. Well, it's going to be more expensive because B and B is up. Two. 60 90 100 it's 150 dollars at five but i've even had fives hang because remember you're filling the block and i think that's why some of these centurions lately they'll be short of the max vmus uh, but i definitely established my centurion position by using open c it was a lot less frustrating it was much more efficient to build my bags okay uh, talking about poly, uh, as far as Polygon goes, it is cheap, okay? It's glitchy and frustrating, but it's cheap. Usually about six to eight Matic per Zenturion, uh, and then you, you know, you basically just start stacking, okay? So those, those haven't been too bad. Uh, Avalanche, I did go ahead and and start doing Zenturions on Avalanche. The Avalanche experience was very smooth, but I'll tell you, you have to work for your coins on Avalanche because it it's a smooth experience because no one's over there, but you, the max VMU is only 38, so it's a lot harder to get those coins. Now, that's why there's probably so many Zunicorns left. Avalanche is one of the only chains where there's like, I think there was 97. So only one or two Zunicorns had been purchased on the Avalanche side. So, you know, honestly, to ladder out Avalanche was not that bad. So in, in the terms of easiness right now, Avalanche, super easy. Polygon, cheap, 
but a little frustrating because of failed TXs. Like you'll pound 10 of them in there and then it'll it'll start to glitch and you'll get failed TXs. And then you just kind of back off for a while and then wait a few minutes and then start up again. BSC, uh, hard to get those cheap prices that we got. That's why I recommend going over to uh, OpenSea and actually BSC, open C and just sweeping these. Just make sure you zoom in on them to make sure the VMU count is up there with you know what you're trying to do. Now, as promised, I'm gonna reveal my Zen million dollar farm. <laughs> That's what you clicked on the video for, right? All right, so here it is. ETH, 158 billion. 870 that's been varying 870 to 920 my costs i got a lot of zents early so i had about 25,000 now cost now is probably closer to 1100 so to get established the same position as 56,000 uh, now i max minute everything and like i said this is the one where i have to i have not laddered out my eth stakes yet Okay, and when I say ladder out, not just max minting and max VMU, I'm talking about, you know, doing a 30, 60, 90, 120, whatever the, whatever it is. Okay, BNB, &B, this is a no brainer in my opinion. 1.5 trillion coins. If you, listen, if you get a goal for BNB, &B, 100 billion or a trillion, is is a great goal uh, these are all centurions and i'm still working on minting the ladder out on this so that was about six six seven thousand now that's at the lower price now keep in mind i scooped a lot of these at 30 bucks when they were dumping them for 0.09 but you know it is what it is poly trillion coins once again a trillion is a great number uh, to target about thirty six thousand I did on Poly, I did a whole bunch of max VMUs. 10. Well, actually, what I did on Poly, I think I was like 93. Yeah. Okay. So basically, on the chains that you can ladder it out, this is how I did it because it was cheap on Poly. Remember, I only had, what, $2,100? $2,100 and I got a trillion coins. Now, you know how Shiba, you know how all these work. It's it's no brainer, no brainer. So here is, this is the strategy I was talking about so that I have coins coming in. So I'll continue to tap, I'm gonna continue to mint once a month max time frame. but these are all the ladders that I filled in, okay? So I did 10 at each level, 30, 60, 91, 21, 51. So literally every month I have a ton of coins coming in. Now, some of these are gonna be un unprofitable, as I stated, but my goal is not to sell the coins. My goal is to have coins in my hands so that I can participate in new ecosystem stuff. And then also, you know, just be able to stack because keep this in mind, most people will sell too soon. And Zen, as far as how it's lined up with a bull run, it could be the perfect storm. Okay, perfect storm. So on AVAX, very similar. Now AVAX was dirt cheap, less than a thousand bucks to ladder at AVAX out. So on AVAX, I basically did 93 max time max at, and then I filled in all the levels at 10. This was probably pretty easy. This only took me, I don't know, two hours to do this ladder. And the nice thing about doing the ladder in batches is you don't have everything coming due all at the same time. You don't want to break it up because then it makes it hard to manage manage your NFTs. And as I stated, it's it's I'm still waiting for Zen Turbo to freaking get off their butt and you know add the other chains so that you can monitor your stacks properly and know when these mints are coming up. But for now, I just have to track it. Now you're like, that's a lot to keep in track of well you know whatever that's crypto life uh, bsc i'm still doing some testing with how the gui has been lately 
It's like I said, it's a little glitchy, and I don't want to overpay to get these ladders going. So I'm still working on those ladders. So this, when I talk about Zen, I talk about island money. We're at the bottom, the bottom, and it's a million dollar farm. So if this is 50, 100x, I got 50 to 100 million dollars. Uh, if I can't find an island for that, you know, maybe I'll just buy a penthouse apartment. <laughs> so that, that is back to the island money that I talk about. So uh, I'll just continue to update this. So like I said, I'm working on my ladders on b and I'll probably have a video, a follow-up video on the best strategy on this. But their pool has been really glitchy because the secondary nodes sometimes just don't pick up the transactions. And I looked at that and, you know, it can just be swamped. So. That is my Zen million dollar farm. That is dashboard money. And keep in mind that is a long, long term vision. But the idea here is to plant your seeds now and reap the rewards in the future. On to elephant.money, uh, sitting at 1357, totally killing it. If you're new to elephant.money, elephant.money is a DeFi project on BSC. And I've been involved in it for a long time. There's an elephant token, and then there's also a DeFi protocol that pays a half percent a day. So I've got about 115,000 an elephant, 856 billion. I really need to get this up to a solid trilly. I'm slacking a little bit there. So elephant doing really well. Uh, my futures account sitting at 84,000. So I put 50,000 50, in originally. And let's see here. Okay. All right. So the way futures works is you make a deposit, you make a half percent a day, and to compound, if you don't want just simple interest, you have to deposit two hundred dollars. So I just deposit my two bones. And and on this note, if you're not using Rabby, man, seriously, bro, this thing is absolute fire beyond fire i i would not have been able to do all that zen staking if i didn't have rabbi it's so 86 291 up 36 291 so not bad not bad uh, protocol is still just killing it it's been running 84 days so where else are you going to make 36 thousand dollars in 84 days <laughs> so like i said my strategy is to run this into the the parabolic curve of elephant so that probably puts me at like a quarter million dollars or something like that on there before i would even consider starting to take any yield uh, we did have some big dogs i'm not the biggest dog but you know i'm in stampede too there was some hunt there's 142,000 wallet so yeah very nice, very nice. Max payout on that is 2.5 mil. Let's see, BSD. This is the treasury. So this is what we talk about. Oh, look at that. That is looking nice. Almost 127 trillion. And as we talked about before, the hockey stick of Parabola was starting around the 150, 160. But keep in mind, we have dual pools now. We have BUSD and BNB. So it might push up. It could push up into 160, 170 before Elephant really starts to go bananas. So if you haven't checked it out, if you're in Zen, you should be in Elephant.Money. <laughs> it is it is one of the best DeFi protocols out there, and the dev is on point and never stops building. So that is today's video. I hope you like it. Get those gains and get your island. As always, this is Crypto So. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Now.